Hello friends, welcome back to the new video of React Native. So today we are going to learn how to create a to-do app with Redux Toolkit. Okay, so let's get started how we are going to do it. Let's take a demo first. So this is basically a to-do app. So I'm going to add the uh, task 1, add task 2, add. So this is the to-do app basically, okay. Whatever you can add in over here, task 3. So this is how this is to do list is there, right? So this is how you can add to do list in uh, React Native, right? So how we are going to build such kind of things in React Native? Let's have a look, okay? So let's see how we are going to implement the Redu Redux Toolkit in React Native. Let's have a look. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and hit like to this video. Don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. So let's begin the tutorial. So first of all, we have to go with the creating a new project first. Let's close this project. Let's clo close this terminal also. Close this terminal. Okay. Now we have our Redux toolkit and uh, let's opening the terminal. Okay. So let's close it. Then we are going with this one. Okay. So here we are going with the React Native. So open with the terminal, create a fresh project, <coughs> React Native toolkit toolkit redux okay So go to the folder. Okay, we have to in install npm i redux. Okay. And what the other packages we need to install? Let me check. And uh, the we have redux. Then let me check the previous packet or JSON. React redux. Okay. So I'm going to add the React Redux in PMI React Redux. Then we need to install the toolkit. So let's have a look of that one. So this is the npm install this one. This is the documentation that we have to follow. So let's add this one toolkit. I have already inbuilt this one. So I'm going to copy this only app.js source and assets. Okay. So let me add in our code that is toolkit replace done. So let's <coughs> create the build. And after that, we will uh, show with the case of the code how we are going to add it like this. So first of all, let's create a build. And for build, I need to paste this one. <coughs> this is yours. Android local dot properties in our react native toolkit Android paste okay let's build it <coughs> control shift T with another we need to rerun this one okay let's see the is installing the APK installed let's see here I think it's running from the previous bundle because I haven't added the anything so let me add the settings debug so it will load from this one one dot one dot two this it's zero eight one okay so let's have a look of that one so this is opening let's rerun this one okay fine 
to do app is ready now okay so how we are going to make this let's have a look of it okay so uh, where, uh, let, let me open the code code like this okay we have app in, starting with app.js okay so let's take a look of this one after this one we have to app store.js in the app store.js what we have to do import configure store right this create a redux store and also automatically configure the redux dev tools extensions so that you can inspect the store while developing right so you need to add this import config store okay and this store configuration here you can pass your reducers right so let's see i have to create the uh, store one so this is the store information here what we have to do is this is my you can see that reducer okay and which i have passed here like the to do to do slice okay this is a reducer right and after this is the store and you can this in this store one i have i need to call the reducer okay here i need to call the reducer and dev tools by default true and i need to export this one right so this part is done after this we need to import this in your uh, main app.js file with the help of the store and we have to write provider and in provider we, this is from the react redux which is bind in the store configuration okay and here is a to do app this is a component which is wrapped in the redux react redux toolkit right so let's see that reacts to do app so in the source features all the data is already in the features and to dos right so slicing and all the things are in the features folder right and the store.js we already discussed so in this one file we have the to do.app.js where we have the ui part right so you can see that we have created a text button which have to do app and we have add to do and to do list there are two main components that we have added over here in the add to do we have this one okay add to do function right and the to do list we have this one okay we have all the list we have mapping the to do in the states because all the data is set into the states okay you can see that to do use selector we are using react redux state and state dot to do's right so you can see that so first of all we're going to add to do's function okay so in the add to do function what we have the we have the text input and the button okay you can see that we have input and the button right so moving to the next part you can see that we, this is the main function that we are adding the to do okay so when we add the to do right on press handle submit on handle submit we have dispatching a event that is called the add to do right add to do okay so we will see that add to do we have a to do slice where we have done all the functionality like the incrementing decrementing or adding like a state setting all the things so in the to do slice you can see that we have create slice function for the redux js toolkit right by default let distribute zero and this is the initial create slicing you can see that in the code level i will i will show you this this, this we have already done provider store app provider okay we have done this one part right create a redux state slice okay counter slice so yes we have already uh, which now is to do slice so with this counter slice we have done the to do slice right okay and uh, you can see that here we have also they, they have done this uh, initialize the state here uh, they are initializing here but you can see that what we have done is you can see that create slice we have all we have already done this one initialize the state with value zero and what we have done is here initializing the state here whether you can initialize state initial state here or wherever but here you can see that i have passed the reducers and then toggle to do with the state find whether the to do with action payload is then we have marked it to do completed and set the state we are pushing that into the state one right so same thing that they are also doing in reducers you can see that increment state then we have decrement state then we have increment by amount these are the you can say actions are there right so in the actions you can see that in the actions you can see that reduces okay we have add to do action and state we are passing then we are pushing that okay and make it completing fast when there is a toggle then make it as a action dot payload then to do is to be completed okay then we are exporting this one into actions right clear so we have done this one and adding this to do okay after this you can there have add to do okay so we have to do list for fetching all the to dos which are set into the state dot to dos 
you can see that uh, let's check out in the state so where we are going with the to do app.js we have to do slice okay so here we have the name to do's this is basically you can see that uh, this is your reducer part where we have set all the states in the to do's so whatever data we have we are pushing into the to do's and we are getting this all data with the help of the selector and where we are fetching it the to do list this is we are using the use selector okay state state dot to do's and here we are getting the to do's and showing all mapping the to do's with the index value right so this is basically a to do app you can see that where we have used the redux toolkit to implement this one same thing that we are following the same thing that we have basically this is the basically they have mentioned the features counter counter slice same they have the increment and the decrement and the increment by uh, increment by amount so basically they have the different functions for just when we have a click on the button like increment decrement or decrement by some uh, increment by some amount so this is basically and after that action creators are generated for each case reducer and the function right so you can see that then you have to pass increment decrement increment by, these are the your actions and in the actions then you got mapping with the counter slide dot actions the same thing we have already done so here we are to do slice so we have add to do and we have a toggle to do these two things we have and we have make them wrap into the to do, to do the slide of actions and then we have export default as a reducer you can see see the same thing counter reducer one right add slides reducers to the store basically we have already done this one part right then we have a use redux state and actions to react components then we can see that we have already this one then we have dispatch function on click event then dispatch then go to that one then getting the data okay so this is basically on the redux toolkit so any query any issue in that let me know in the comment section we have already covered the both of the things uh, uh, like the increment decrement part also and the basic to do app also so any query any issue in that just let me know in the comment section uh, okay so any new video on that you want let me know in the comment section also thank you so much for watching this video have a great day don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day